Today I'm going to show you how to use the knot needle to uh, tie to the bend of the hook for dropper rigs. Uh, there's a lot of different knot tying tools out there. Um, and one of the reasons why I invented the knot needle was to be able to tie your dropper rigs on the bend of the hook. And because of its size and shape, the knot needle gives you a huge advantage. And what you want to do is just grab the tag end, um, as you do with most knots with the knot needle and just put the line over the bend of the hook and just leave it hang. Uh, the weight of the knot needle uh, keeps the tension on so you never have to worry about it coming off the bend of the hook. Um, and then just spin it around one, two, three, four, five, six times, however many you wanna do. Uh, and then put the knot needle through and just let it drop. It's really hard with the braided line, but keep tension on that so it doesn't come off the bend of the hook and just cinch it down like so and of course if you were using uh mono or fluorocarbon you're going to wet that knot before you cinch it down but yes that's how you tie um to the bend of the hook if you want to use a dropper rig using the knot needle um it acts as a third hand keeps the tension on so if it's windy or if you're um, using a, a smaller fly or whatever, a lot of times when you're trying to get that clinch knot down, it'll come back off the bend of the hook. You have to cut a little bit of extra tip it off and then uh, retie it. Uh, the knot needle prevents retying. It saves time on the water. Um, as long as you practice with it, uh, practice getting your grip so you're using it efficiently and effectively. And the knot needle is an incredible tool to be able to help you tie knots on the water.